My mother and father split up when I was around six, before I started school. I stayed with my father. It was a tough time that prepared me for a lot of things in life. I met my wife in 89 after my first World Championship success. That was Bled, where I won a silver medal. It was the first year in which I represented my country in the single skull. At that time, my family perhaps played a more important role for me than the sport. They didn't see as much of me as they would have done a normal father. Everything, including the family, has to be subordinate to the sport. Children dream about what they want to be. Often they want to be like their parents. I don't remember my father rowing. He had long retired from rowing when I was born. I just saw a few photos of him rowing. I only started to take notice of rowing myself when I was 12 or 13. Then from an average, below average boy, I gradually became one of the best in the country in my sport. Rowing is a sport you have to devote hours to every day. The training hurts, hard toil every day, training hour after hour, lifting tons of weights, thousands of kilometers on the water. And this is then all put into just seven minutes for a race. The work of a top rower lasts from dawn to dusk. These days, a lot of rowers seem able to devote time to running a business and other work much more than I did when I was at my peak. I won a prize at my first international competition. At the start, it was me in the skull weighing 20 kilograms that I made in this workshop, next to the guys in racing skulls weighing 14 kilograms. I couldn't envisage life as a top sportsman. I assumed I'd return to Heradets, continue mending lorries, and would row when I could. Top rowers tend to retire around the age of 30. I managed to extend my career by 12 years or so. People determined to achieve a goal tend to disregard what's going on around them and just concentrate on the target. I am not able to do this. Perhaps this is why I have never been the absolute best. I was always willing to compromise on something. For example, when there were two things and I didn't want to give up either of them, I had to make a compromise between them. This perhaps was the reason why I never stood on the top spot. There are not many people, Czech or any nationality, who have competed at six Olympics. The most powerful moment is just before the Games, when you are packing your suitcase and then travelling to the airport. It's a feeling of anticipation. At that moment you have the feeling the attention of the world is just on you. The atmosphere of all of that is, for me, the strongest experience the Olympics has given me. No other Czech rower has ever achieved 22 years at the top.